Okay, it's a little uh, walk around of this Jeep Cherokee or Grand Cherokee 4.7 V8 Limited. Um, standard car basically, it's got a matching set of uh, Goodyear Wrangler tyres on it. It's uh, silver with full black leather. It's got the roof rack with the crossbars on it. Uh, it's got auxiliary driving lights, alloy wheels, no side steps or anything like that. It's also got a dog guard in it, um, although the rear compartment is very nice. So obviously a well-trained dog. Um, and it's got the starting part of a tow bar system under there, but um, no electrics it would appear. Uh, it's just the, the tow bar mount, so you could mount your own tow bar on the back of that, I guess, by the look of it. Um, right, let's have a look from the front. Looking at it from here, we've got uh, parking scuffing around the offside front bumper corner, uh, which has resulted in a bit of paint loss, and these always lose paint off their bumpers. Um, just up here, along here, around there a little bit. Bonnet is nice. Um, same on the near side here, we've got parking scuffing on the near side front bumper corner, around here, and a piece there as well, which once again result, resulted in some paint loss. As that always happens on these. As soon as they get a little knock on the bumper, it just knocks the paint off of them. Um, Looks pretty clean and straight down the near side. No problems or issues there at all. Looking at the windscreen, all pretty good except we've got a repaired chip just here. It's been previously repaired. So the passenger side of the screen looks good. We'll look at the driver's side on the other side. This one's also got um, electric sunroof, electric glass roof, which is quite unusual on this. Um, all pretty good down on the near side door. Interior wires on the near side, very nice. Nothing really to worry about there. Um, on the off, on the near side rear door, we've got a very slight depression just here, um, and also a bit of paint loss just on the edge of the arch. If I open this up, you'll see it better actually. A um, bit of paint loss just there, and a very very. Oh, it's not a scuff; it's just polish um, on that. A couple of minor marks here on the. Uh, near side rear door, but in fact they're coming off, so really it's just the paint loss around there that's uh, an issue. Um, very, very faint scuff just here along the near side rear arch lip, and then we've got quite another parking scuff that goes along the rear valance, a bit along there, on the edge, it's gone right into the, the uh, um, plastic here on the near side rear valance and near side rear bumper corner. A couple of minor depressions on the tailgate, one just here, just underneath the, um, the wiper, hasn't broken the paint. There's a little bit where the paint's broken, just above the wiper, just there, which you can probably see. Um, so a couple of minor dinks in the tailgate, and a little bit of, uh, a couple of dinks, uh, a couple of deep scratches and marks here on the um, rear part of the bumper. Yet again, parking scuff on the offside rear bumper corner, not as bad as the others in fairness, uh, just a bit there and a bit there, and a little bit on the top there that's uh, flaked the paint very slightly. Um, just a little bit of scuffing just here on the very edge of the offside rear arch, um, just very very faintly just on the back of the arch there. Uh, also it's been scuffed here on the offside rear door um, trim along here. Uh, hopefully you can see. That's about it. A tiny parking dink just there in the offside front door. Um, another one just there and a very small one just there on the offside front wing. Internally, interior is very nice actually, it's all been validated, it's all nice and clean. Uh, two issues, one of which is very minor, the switch blanks for the cigar lighter and the 12 volt power feed um, aren't there. Um, they've, uh, they've gone walk about somewhere. Uh, the other one is a bit odd. Although the electric seats all work and everything, the driver's seat wobbles a bit from side to side, as you can see. A little disconcerting if, if you're going round a, uh, a left-hand bend. Um, that would need to be resecured. Probably uh, not uh, not the biggest job in the world. But also all the electrics work for the seats, so I can't quite work out why it's doing that because the base doesn't seem to move or the frame part. Um, a little bit of scuffing just here on the driver's seat outer bolster, as you expect, given the uh, age and mileage. 
But really, that's about it. The rest of the interior is very nice. A couple of minor marks on the rear seats that'll probably come off. Um, a couple of small marks on the base of the near side front seat. But once again, that's fine. Uh, ice cold aircon. Um, everything's all up to scratch there. My name's Simon. You can reach me on 0771 906 9353 or in the office on 0118 946 3352.